Hello, Stick Volley fans, and welcome to the biggest tournament in Stick Volley history, Stick Madness. I'm joined by my color commentator, Patrick. Hi, guys. This should be a really exciting international tournament with all the best teams from all over the globe. With that in mind, we're also using new rules, one of which, real exciting, we move the walls in close to the goals. There's no out of bounds. So the pace of play is just going to be so much faster. Yeah, and there's also some other rules um, that are in the game. The, um, the There's a timer now. The games are a minute and a half. So uh, after the minute and a half, if the ball is still up in the air, it has to touch a player. So people can still get those last minute buzzer beater goals. Also, if a team scores three goals in that minute and a half, the game is automatically over. Even if it's a close two to two game, and someone scores, the game's over at three goals. So, we'll have to see. This could be a very fast-paced game. But let's get down to the first game. We got the Camels taking on the Stags right now. And here we go. The Stags and Camels. And they, they win the face-off. The Stags now have the ball. And there's the a Stags turnover. Are the Stags are the number one seed out of the German League. Very impressive. But a defensive error and the Stags take a one nothing lead. Wow. Right off the bat, it's one nothing. A minute and... Uh, about to be... T about a minute and ten now. That's hit backwards now. By the Camels. They were... Eight and another goal. It's two nothing Stags. You almost expect this. This is a one versus eight seed. The Camels defense is... Nowhere near the level of the Stags. Edward Sanders, though, for the Camels, has been known to play really well. So maybe he can pick his team up. Yeah, he's gonna have to. He's gonna definitely have to do that. Some errors off defense now, as the Stags moving around. That's a hard shot by the Camels attacker. That's coming back up to the Stags goalie, who hits it into his D2. They're gonna move this one around. Come into the Camels attacker, and that's a turnover. We got 30 seconds left in this game. Camels need a miracle here, or else their, their stick madness season or tournament uh, streak is done, and that's hit backwards. What a save, though. There's no netting at the top, so the ball's going to be flying back down. These guys got to settle, and they don't. And that's hit backwards, and it's now 2-1 to one with 10 seconds left. This could it. Oh, it's hit backwards. Can he get the goal? There's four, three, two, one, and that's the game. Stags showed off really well to start the game, slowed down, but it was definitely a win for the Stags. Yeah, two to one victory coming out for the Stags, but we don't have much more time to talk. We got the next game coming up. That's the Flying Squirrels taking on the Speedy Rocks right now. And here we are for the Flying Squirrels and Speedy Rocks. These two are gonna be battling it out. We got a 13 seed in the Flying Squirrels, and a 20 seed, that's hit backwards though! Flying Rocks get a good shot! It's up in the air, coming down to the uh, Flying Squirrels defense. Who's gonna try and settle it? That's a good shot though by the fly, uh, Speedy Rocks. Another good shot! Could this be too hard? These walls... Can make this ball fly around, it's come back down to the attackers! It's hit up! To the flying Squirrels who get a hard shot! It's into the defense! That's popped up now. These two attackers are both very good. They're both 25. Both middle of the pack teams, but helping them out a lot. For the Flying Squirrels, they have Rick O'Shea. Oh. And for the Speedy Rocks, they have Justin Case. And that's a goal for the Flying Squirrels. There's 50 seconds left in this game already. That's a turnover here. Going over the Flying Squirrels, Justin Case and, R and Rick O'Shea. Wait, was it Rick O'Shea? Rick O'Shea is on the Flying Squirrels. And Justin both Case of them. is on the Speedy Rocks. Both that's very good 25-year-old players. Yeah, both attackers. A hard shot there. They're gonna try to move it around on the flying squirrels defense. One nothing. That one's popped up. Slowing this one down. There's Oh, it's a backwards! It's one to one! 20 seconds left in the game. This is where it gets intense. Teams could be out in an instant. Flying squirrels get a good shot! Hard shot though by the Oh! Speedy Rocks almost get a good shot! Flying squirrels now. There's eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we are going to overtime. A 
here we are in overtime. A minute and 30, it's golden goal though. So, first team to score. Get to Ender, but we cut out the game over already. Can he get a save and he gets a good touch. It's coming back down towards his goal to cut the game and that's the game already. Flying scores. Girls, they were the favorite in this game, but it was very close. Yeah, they were a little higher seed, 13 to a 20. But what a game that was, two to one again. Coming out from the home team, so what a game! But up next, we got the crack and number 12 seed taking on the 21 seed Metro Madness coming up right now. And here we go, Metro Madness versus the, uh Kraken. We got this game starting off. With these two are gonna. That's a one face off there by Keith Jack going over to the Kraken's defense. Kraken now moving it around on defense. Keith Jacks with a hard shot. It's coming back down towards his goal. Could this? It looks like he's gonna hit the corner. And it does. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, it is one nothing. Kraken. Those hard shots by the attackers are not going to work in this type of arena. Keith Jackson should know that. Yeah, that was a risky, risky shot. And I guess because he's never played on it, he's got to get used to it now. Kraken with a hard shot off the defense. It's going to hit the bar. This could be a goal. And it's going to throw the bar. Keith Jackson with the pressure. Almost getting a turnover. There's 50 seconds left in this game. That's a backward down by the Kraken. Cracking defense here, moving it around. Slow pacing it. That's coming up to Max Montgomery. Can he get it? And he cannot. Paul Kovac now off. Max Montgomery off the defense. Kraken, get a save. It's going to come up to the corner. Hit the corner. It's come back down to the Metro's defense. 30 seconds now. Up oh, to the gosh, attackers. Leo, he really needs to pick it up now. Oh, Kraken with the shot. It has spin. Come back down to Metro's defense. It's getting crazy. Kraken might have hit it too hard here. It's gonna hit the wall, it comes down! Metro scores, 16 seconds left in the game! Oh my goodness, Metro getting a clutch goal, 10 seconds now! They need to hold on and hope to go to overtime here. There's five seconds, four, three, two, one, and that's the game, and that's, we're going to overtime. And here we are for some overtime. Golden goal hit backwards up by Keith Jackson. This could be a quick overtime. Hard shot by the Kraken. It's coming down to Max Montgomery. Here's a laser shot. Off the wall. Come back down off the wall. To the Kraken attacker. Which is backwards. This could be the game. It's the ball. That's the game. Metro. That's our first United States League team to win. Metro Man is moving on by their captain, Josh Epperman. Metro Man has taken the 2-1 victory. Wow, what a fast pace overtime. What a game. But we got the next game now. The number five seed Huskies are taking on the number 28 seed Rattlesnakes. Coming up now. And here we are for the Huskies versus the Rattlesnakes right now. That's hit backwards though by the Rattlesnakes. They're going to move that one around. It's coming back down to the Rattlesnakes defense. Who's going to move it around? Huskies with a hard shot. Coming down to the attackers. Hit backwards though by the Rattlesnakes trying to set the goalie. Hard shot though into the uh, Huskies uh, attacker. Huskies now moving this one around on defense. Setting up their goalie. One thing, teams have, uh, one thing teams have been noticing is it's a lot more finesse in these types of games. Oh! <gasps> Almost a goal! A lot of finesse, yeah, because the goal, you don't have that big open space that the ball can just lay right in, but... Most that of the times, power will come against you. It'll go in your own net. So that's uh, that's something teams have to be uh, worrying about. Yeah, we just saw, actually, that goalie only scoring an own goal. And that's hit backwards, though, by the Rattlesnakes defense. Can the goalie get a save? And he does. What a save. It's coming up to us. Coming back down now to the Rattlesnakes defense. Header, though, by number four on the Rattlesnakes. That was Ray Camacho. He's the captain of the Rattlesnakes. Ray Great Camacho. Touch. Ray Camacho with the goal. There is 20, about 20 seconds left. Ray Camacho, the captain, getting the goal. Here's the Husky. We can have a big upset right here. This is a number five seed. That's a backwards. Huskies get a goal. Five seconds left in the game. Or no, I lied. Now there's five seconds left in the game. But no, Rattlesnakes could score here. Go to the Huskies. Have a hard off the defense, and then it's gonna touch someone, and that's it. We're going to overtime. And here we go. We are in 
overtime. This is it's gonna coming be down fun. to Patrick Ooh. Aiken. Patrick Aiken almost getting He's a good touch. Huskies D4. He is definitely a great player in this league. Rattlesnakes though made a mistake. What a save! Rattlesnakes goalie is keeping this team in it right now. There's the Huskies now. Move this one around. Trying to get to Patrick Aiken, their captain, and he gets a touch. But no, the Huskies might have made a mistake on defense. It's gonna have to walk up back up to their goalie as a laser over shot. Coming back down towards the other wall. Terrell takes attack towards a laser. Off the walls. Come back down towards him. He gets a touch. Cannot get it good enough though. Patrick Aiken now. Trying to get this one around. 40 seconds left. This is golden goal. This stick volley could not be more intense. A lot of overtime games, a lot of high pressure situations. Yeah, lots and lots of uh, high pressure. It's, if you make a mistake and you get in those holes, that's not good. Rattlesnake's out in the back. We have 25 seconds left in this overtime. Huskies attacker hits it too hard. This could be the game. It's gonna come down and that's the game. Rattlesnake upset the Huskies. What a game! They are going to be going huge upset. Huge upset. What a upset. Number 28 seed upsetting number 5. But we have more games to come to you. We got the Griffins taking on the Grenadiers right now. And here we are for the Grenadiers and Griffins. That's one by Grenadiers. Jackson Fox with a hard shot. Come back down towards him. He gets a good touch into the Griffins defense. Number 7 seed Griffins. Versus Griffins number are definitely 26. a good team coming oh. into this out of the German League. They were the second seed, so definitely a good team out of the Griffins. Yeah, and and I think after I saw that shot, I think these attackers are kind of struggling to figure out this wall because they like those good long hard shots off the walls that just bounce into the goal. But they're struggling these past couple of games, and they're hitting it too hard. Definitely. definitely, it's definitely something that they have to worry about because <gasps> it could hurt them. What a goal by Jackson Fox! It's one nothing. We have 45 seconds now in this game. That's the exact finesse we were talking about. Nothing Keen Hawkins could do, the Griffins goalie. Yeah, Keen Hawkins. Oh, but a good shot by the Griffins D2 in the team! What ones? Wow, there's 30 seconds now. What a shot by the D2. Griffins, uh, Grenadiers hit backwards. Tristan Frazier. Oh, but a good shot by Billy Long, their captain. Griffins get a turnover now. There's 15 seconds left in this game. We can have another 2-1 to one game here. If it goes to overtime, that is. Now they're moving around. That was uh, Vic Rick Sanchez hitting it to Trisha Frazier. Hard shot, though, by the Griffins. There's 4 seconds left. This could be a buzzer-beater goal. It's coming down. And no, we are going to overtime. And here we are for the overtime game. It's a one-to-one -one game. Griffins and, and Grenadiers battling it out here. This has got to be the most high-pressure situation Tristan Frazier has ever been in so far. Yeah, welcome welcome to Stick Valley, Tristan Frazier. He's a rookie. He had three goals, I believe, in this season. So he's got a lot to prove. That's hit up to the attackers. Not good enough. Griffins slowing this one down on defense. They better get moving, though. They want to score. There's a minute left in this game, in this overtime. Hard shot though by the Griffins attacker. Coming down to their goalie, who cannot get a touch. Griffins D3 hits it up to the D5. And they're going to slow it back down. That's a hard shot though by this D2, who's getting some good shots. I don't know his name, but he's killing it. Griffins now moving this one around. Back to the defense, slowing it down. Off the D2. Coming up to the attackers. They can't get it. 30 seconds left in the first overtime. Could we see the first double overtime? There's uh, Samuel Davis and uh, Rick Sanchez. Griffins with a hard shot. Off the walls, coming back down towards the Grenadiers defense. Rick Sanchez hits it up. 10 seconds left. Can something get... Oh, Jackson Fox! No! And that's the game. Griffins win 2-1. to one. Jackson Fox with a very big mistake. There was less than five seconds left in that game. In that overtime. All he had to do was not do that. And he does it. Griffin's going in the next round. Let's see who they play right now. 
we got the Conquerors, number 10 seed, taking on the 23 seed Beavers right now. And here we go, we have the Conquerors taking on the Beavers. That's one by the Beavers. Remember this one around defense. Beavers with a hard shot. Up on the Conquerors. Can he get a save? He can't. One up the Beavers. A minute and 20. Julius Goodman, the goalie, just got his fingertips but couldn't get the goal save. Not good enough. Beavers trying to set up their goalie. Hard shot, though. To Julius Goodman. Who has a hard shot into his D6. There's a minute and 10 left. Goodman now. And a hard shot into the Beavers attacker. The ball's bouncing around. Coming down towards the uh, Conquerors defense who hit it up. To the attackers now. One there by the Beavers. And move this one around. Under a minute. Conquerors hit it back over. It's one nothing the Beavers, and that's a mistake by the Conquerors. This looks like it's going in, and it is. Two nothing Beavers. 35 seconds left in this game. Conquerors need a miracle to happen right now if they want this, this win. This Beavers team looks so calm, cool, collected. And most of that's from Barry Noble. Great D2 from this team. With yeah, a lot of experience. Oh, oh. Julius Coleman with the hard shot. We have six, 15 seconds now. This is not looking good for the Conquerors. 10 seconds. Oh. It's 2 nothing. <laughs> Conquerors, the Conquerors turn it over. are f they're flailing their arms. They can't get anything to happen. And that's the game. The Conquerors getting upset. Number 10 seed losing to 23. We have another big upset. This is the third one so far. Conquerors losing to the Beavers. What an upset. That now they're going to play the Griffins in the next round. But we have the Clownfish, number 15 seed, taking on the Robots, number 18 seed, right now. And here we are, the Clownfish taking on the Robots. Robots win that one heavily. Coming down, Martin Wallace. Can he get a shot here? Off his... Oh, and a turnover there. We have a minute 20. 10 seconds have all gone by. This Robots team is led by the goalie, Brick Wally. He, uh, he's definitely a great player. He's going to be 28 years old, and he has expressed interest in playing in the United States League to end his career. Yeah, Brick Wally, not much left uh, of his career, but he wants to end it strong. That's hit backwards. Can Brick Wally get the save? And he does. What a save by Brick Wally. He's going back up to him, though. Maybe towards his defense. No to him. Oh, now his defense. Hard shot by the D2, though. There's Martin Wallace, who hits it into the attack on the hit up. Gonna hit the bar. And go back down to the robot's defense. Burke Wally, though, getting some shots. 36 left. There's just a corner. Hard shot. Rookie of the season hitting in the bar. It's coming down now. To the Clownfish defense. 0-0 zero, zero score. We have 25 seconds left in this game. Martin Wallace! Look like they're in complete control. Oh! Martin Wallace hits the bar. Dustin Corner hits it up. 0-0 zero, zero still. Uh, Justin Corner with a good shot. 10 seconds now. Martin Wallace getting some crazy shots here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to overtime in this crazy game. Wow. 0-0. Zero, 0-0. Zero. Zero, zero. And here we go. The first ever overtime that is is because of a 0-0. <laughs> we didn't even have a goal yet. Both sides playing super defensive, actually. Justin Corner trying to get some pressure here. Robots defense. Getting it off that one. And we have a turnover. We're starting the back now with Matt Goodwin. Here we go, the Clownfish. Hit it up to the robots attacker! It's up! It hits the bar, hits the wall, and it comes back down. What just happened? A minute left in the game. Did they all know he did a mistake? Brick Wally! No! Brick Wally! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If the ball stops. We're and we gonna have to turnover. restart that. We have to restart that. It's a turnover. Actually, I yep, that I never seen that before. It was very lucky for Brick Wally, because there's nowhere that could have rolled except into the net. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Robots now trying to get this one off. We have 30 seconds left in this overtime. Golden goal. 
Justin Corner gets a good header to Brick Wally, who hits it into Justin Corner again. Justin Corner finishes the game, and that's the game. Another United States team moves on. Clownfish, one over. The number 15 seed, Clownfish, number four in the American League. They're going to be moving on to face the winners of the Peacocks and the Rhinos coming up right now. And here we are, the Peacocks taking on the Rhinos. This is a big game. Number two seed Peacocks are taking on the number 31 seed Rhinos. This is the primetime game. A lot of people came to see Zach Goodwin, the attacker for the Peacocks. Definitely a great player in this entire <gasps> Madness tournament. Oh, Victor Wilson almost got a goal. I was holding my breath to see what would happen. But the Rhinos! Oh! <laughs> what just happened? The Rhinos. I, I don't know what just happened. It's one nothing Rhinos already. Peacocks look like they're in shock. They need to slow down. Because if they get all worked up, this could be bad for them. This could be a big upset. 31 seed taken down a 2. I don't know. That's it's, it's good. It's good for the Peacocks. They have a lot of time left. A lot of time to uh, seconds. make up this lead. It's coming back down to Victor Wilson, who has a hard shot into the Rhinos attacker. Zach Goen cannot connect. Rhinos moving this one on defense. Zach Goen getting the pressure. There's 28 seconds left. That's it backwards, though. Can they make a mistake? That was Edgar Novak. Oh, no. What a save by Kyrie Burnett. Oh, Kyrie, no. Don't do this to him. Oh. <laughs> this one might go in. <laughs> this is just no, too intense. There's it's five not. seconds. Five back. seconds left. Four. Three. Two. Ooh. One. Oh, and that's oh. the game. <laughs> That would have been a buzzer beater that would have counted if it went that. Wow, the Peacocks going out in the first round, one nothing. This place is just in shock right now. Number Not two seed for the United States League. Wow, Peacocks are out just like that. Number thirty. I don't think anyone in their bracket had them going this uh this early, so. What a tournament it has been so far. The first half of the round of 32 is done. But we still have another half of the bracket. And that will be coming out very shortly. So that's going to be it for this. And let's head down to those recaps to get, get a recap of these games. And that is it for the first round of part one for the Stick Madness tournament. Let's look at these games real quick. The Huskies... Dropping to the Rattlesnakes, 28 seed beating a 5. You don't see that often, but Rattlesnakes played great. And then Metro Manus winning 2-1 to one against the Kraken. This was a 50-50, I think. I think both sides, it could have went either way to gaming. Metro Manus took it to overtime and won it. Max Montgomery getting that overtime goal. What a, what a play from him. And then the Flying Squirrels battling it out with the Speedy Box. Another overtime game that was close. And then Flying Squirrels ended up taking that one. And then the last one on this part of the bracket, the Camels dropping to the Stags. Um, the Stags looked good. They looked really good at the Camels. It was 2 nothing. This game did not go to overtime. It was 2 nothing, And then the Camels just got a lucky goal. But Stags looked really good. And they're going to be playing the Flying Squirrels na next. And Metro Madness will be taking on the Rattlesnakes. Two 20 seeds are playing each other. So that's pretty uh, interesting. But let's look at the other side of the bracket. The Griffins beating the Grenadiers. Number 7 seed Griffins. Looked pretty good, but Grenadiers look good too, and Jackson Fox made a big mistake in overtime, which cost him that game, and the Grenadiers ended up falling, but they had that game in their hands. Then the Beavers upsetting the Conquerors 2-0. This was the first shutout of the, of the night, and wow, Beavers looked good. I thought they looked really, really good, and they're going to be playing the Griffins next, so this is going to be a real test. If they beat the Griffins next... This is a team, this is a dark horse team you want to keep an eye on. Um, and then the Clownfish, winning against the Robots, won nothing. They were the favorites, but this game was also kind of 50-50. Justin Corner, showing why he was the rookie of the season, last season. He played phenomenal. Clownfish will be moving on. Then the Rhinos, upsetting the Peacocks, the biggest upset in the tournament so far. The number one, the number two seed, number one in their league, Peacocks, winning the championship last season. Falling first round, no one was expecting this, and what a what a bunch of a mess this has been so far. But 
We got more games. This is only the first half of the first round. We still have a whole other half. So, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, like it, and we'll see you next week for the next round. Next part, not round.